After choosing a delivery option, you next must choose which authoring tool to use, Flash itself or an HTML editor like Dreamweaver or GoLive. Importing video directly into an HTML editor like Dreamweaver is ideal for situations where you want to put video onto your site quickly and easily and when you need no interactive elements beyond simple video controls such as play, stop, pause, skip ahead, and skip backward. For more advanced capabilities such as adding interactivity, selecting from a wider range of custom interfaces, layering video with other Flash animation, or synchronizing the video with text and graphics, you'll want to use Flash itself. You'll also need to use Flash Professional 8 to encode Flash video FLV files. Before you can add video to your pages, you should also decide which delivery method to use, progressive download or streaming. For more information on these methods, view the movies in the section of the course entitled Flash Video Delivery Options. When you add Flash video to an HTML page, you should also add a behavior to the page to detect for the Flash player. In particular, you should check that any visitor trying to view the page has a version of the Flash player that lets them view the content that you are providing. In this movie, let me now describe how to add Flash video to an HTML page with Dreamweaver, including how to perform this Flash player check. Before you begin using this method, you must have an encoded Flash video file. That's an FLV file. You can create those using the standalone Flash encoder that ships with Flash 8 Professional. After you've captured or encoded this FLV file, open up Dreamweaver, and from the main menu, choose Insert, Media, Flash Video. That's one nice thing about using Dreamweaver is that it's in the Flash family, and so it has some tools to help you integrate Flash content. This will bring up the Insert Flash Video dialog. First, you must choose what type of video you want to insert, progressive download video or streaming video. If you choose the progressive download video, you can browse to the location of your Flash video or enter the URL path to the video. If you choose streaming video, Notice that the dialog changes, and you'll need to add your server address. Everything else, however, in the dialog is the same. Let me go ahead and browse to the location of my FLV file here on my computer. You can also choose from a list of skins, which is kind of a nice feature that lets you add controls for stopping and starting and scrubbing the video. You can ask Dreamweaver to detect the correct size of the video, and if it can, it will populate the width and the height there in the fields for you. It can't always detect the correct size of the video. I'm not quite sure why. In this case, it could not be detected, so it asks you to enter the width and height manually, so I'll do that. 400 by 300 is the size of my FLV file. You can choose to auto-play and auto-rewind the video. This will automatically play the video as soon as the HTML page is loaded into the browser and enough of the video has loaded to start playing. You can also prompt users to download Flash Player if necessary. This is the player check that I mentioned previously. You want to definitely check that option. It will provide a message if it detects that the user does not have the correct Flash Player. Content on this page requires a newer version of Macromedia Flash Player. Do you want to download it now? After you've entered in all of your settings, click OK to close the dialog, and Dreamweaver will insert the video onto the page. If you want to view the video, you can preview this HTML page in the browser, which I've done here in Firefox, and if I reload the page, you can see the video playing and rolling your mouse over the video gives you the controller, allows you to pause, stop, and play. Or if you choose a different skin, you can also scrub, fast forward, and rewinding. And it all works fairly straightforwardly and simply. You don't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it does work, and this is the simplest way 
to deliver Flash video content to a web page. Authoring your video projects within the Flash application itself provides you with the widest number of options and greatest level of control. So let me cover some of these options and techniques starting with the next movie.